Hope you enjoyed this one. The comment, subscribe. Thank you. This is Southern Islands. Gave my latest review on Sailor Moon Crystal episode. Hold on, you know, on episode uh, 30 or 31. How you want to think of it? It uh, Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Uh, we finally get to see the Sailor Scouts as they announce themselves. I was, I like they made it per perfectly clear. Like, all uh, right now, you know, it's definitely very problematic. They like they're here to t stop, you know, these people, you know. People, you know, the people who work for Master from the, and the, you know, you know, but they're not allies. They're not allied of the Sailor Scouts. You know, they're not working with the Sailor Moon and the others. They're completely different. And, and you know, uh, uh, you know, no, no, they said it themselves. Oh, like they're, they, we never said we were your allies. You know, you know, and Artemis, you know, he did say that a long time ago when uh, during the Silver Millennium. Um, I don't know, you know, back in the, you know, that they, they did exist, you know, a long time ago, but they, but like Pluto, they had a separate mission and a separate ideals, you know. Pluto's mission was to guard the gate of time, you know, you know, you know, like, and and I like the reference they gave to Pluto, you know, um, and, and I'm going to and I'm gonna focus on my review on the key elements in this episode, like certain key things, like, I, we get to see certain things, I don't want to give... To spoiler her to, to too many things, so I'm gonna just do my best, you know. Anyway, you get to see, even though you know, they, they, even though that they, they are sailor scouts, they they're not on the same mission as them, you know. They're not working together, you know. They made that abundantly clear. And um, however, Sailor Moon Usagi, she wants to know if she, uh, if they are, if they are the enemy or not, you know. Cause so far they have. So far, you know, she's still a little unclear, but they don't want to work with her, and they're willing to use force, you know, uh, to stop the enemy, but they don't want, but they're trying to do their best to make their escape, you know. They don't want to, you know, you know, they're not willing to, like, they don't want to hurt them severely, but they, they're they not going to work with them, you know. Uh, we have to see that, 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 hey, that her, Usagi's feelings, you know, for Haruko, you know, the, her, her feelings for Haruko, it started to affect her feeling with Mamo, a.k.a. Tuxedo Mask, you know, and Dineon, you know. It, 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 it leaves such an impact, and, you know. It started to, like, weigh on their relationship. We all know that they're destined to be together. Uh, but, you know, every relationship has their trial, you know, their ups and downs, their temptations. This is, like, a serious thing for them, you know. If they don't get past this roadblock, you know, you know, it's, get, you know it's definitely, you know, going to be tougher for them in the future. I also like that Chibiusa, like, and we get to see some cheap moments as well. Like, for example, in this episode, oh, she tries to ask to make a heart, uh, an art project. She tries to make this chalice that, that her mother, Queen, you know, Queen Serenity, had. And apparently her mother had all kinds of jewelry and stuff over her years. Like, I mean, think about it. In the future, she's basically immortal. She's been around hundreds of years. She had lots of priceless artifacts and stuff like that, secrets, you know, stuff. But Sneaky Yusa, she would sneak in her room. She would see paintings of it. Even though she would know that she knows about the challenge that existed, she never, you know, saw her face to face, and it was never used as a weapon. And as far as she know, because her knowledge is limited. Remember, she was young, but she allowed to venture any part of the, you know, she was still young, but she had no powers. You know, she didn't develop them. You know, she didn't develop any special abilities. And, you know, I know that's pretty, you know, intense. That's something you got you remember from the series. You know, she was having some struggle. There was a roadblock. She eventually got over her roadblock, uh, but and she developed powers. You know, but well, that took till much later. Anyway, we we have to see that even though she still, even though they did succeed in save, saving the future and stuff, she still misses her mother, her 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 home a little bit. Like, like this is just her, you know, and her crying. You know how, how she even asked Mama. She even uh, she does a thing. She fakes being asleep. And let and let Usagi and Mamo had their time together to get, to work through their issues. So basically, I'm gonna call the, the hero of the episode. I'm gonna say Chibi Yusa because she, she managed to save the relationship. After all, they are her future parents, and if they don't hook up. She doesn't exist. <laughs> that's quite that's quite that's quite a thought. That's that's kind of food for thought, you know. That's one of the things I like, you know. I you know they tried to be fun. I know so I know I laughed, you know, but you know, you gotta think about it a little bit, you know, you know. No, it's definitely coy, you know. Uh, I like it. Uh, you also get to see that either we get to see that there are certain side missions and events. Uh, we also get to see that there's some kind of exam happening again at Mugen Academy. And we all know Mugen Academy is the source. 
So, so Ami, Sailor Mercury, goes in. And however, she goes in alone, so if, uh, so it's too dangerous, you know. You know, it's de it's definitely too dangerous. You know, she can't do this on all by herself. I mean, you know, I mean, think about it. Venturing any place alone, especially if it's enemy territory, is a huge risk. You know, but she at least she can handle herself. I mean, you now she even needs an other girl who's basically a genius like her. But we all know what's happening. And and Magnus Coordinator, they know. They want the power of the Sailor Scouts and the legendary Silver Crystal to fuel their own ambition for the Negron Galaxy. And, and, the, and the Death Busters, you know, they're willing to fight. They, they're willing to fight and, and willing to use any means necessary or, to to do so, especially using people as, uh, as you know, as monsters and using them as weapons against, against, against you know, them, you know. They're willing to do that, turn innocent people into monsters just to satisfy by their own goals, you know, that's pretty intense, you gotta think about it, and, you know, think about it long and hard, you know, before you make a move, and that's something you gotta understand, and, you know, that's something I think about, you know, anyway, that's all, the, anyway, this episode does end on a note, we get to see, we have to know about the talisman, you know, a little more about the talisman, um, we get to see the Uranus and, Uranus and uh, Neptune, they are, they are willing to help, but they don't want to work with the others, we also get to see that they kick ass, you know, they get, they get fighting. They, they do want to help, um, but they don't want to work with them for some reason. For some reason, they don't trust Sailor Moon or the others. And, and it's called kind of Talisman. We also get to learn something about a deity of destruction, a god of destruction. Mom, both Mamo and Usaki had the same dream. Um, You know, they shared the same dream. Like, something big is coming, and they know it. They just don't know what it is, but they're going to be blindsided by it, and it's going to be very tough. We also go. We had to learn the identity of the second talisman, uh, of another talisman, and we we know that sailor, oh that sailor, her uh, Neptune's mirror is one, and another is sailor Uranus's sword. You know, uh, his sword is an, or her or whatever. That Uranus's sword is another talisman. That means they've seen two of them. All we need is the third, and we get to see. And one of my favorite moments of all is we get to see the return of an old friend. And of old friend, who is it? I'm not gonna spoil it for you unless you see the episode all the way through to the end, and we get this, and we know this is gonna be in next week's episode. That's why I said she, so it'll narrow it down a bit. But all I tell you is someone that they trust. So you have to understand it's very good. And I can't wait to see. Hope you enjoy. And subscribe. Thank you to the Solomon Owls. Give on you on Sailor Moon Crystal. Sailor Yuri. This is Sailor Neptune. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right. Thank you. See ya. Bye.